Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is adding another app to its deprecation list of apps where Microsoft continues now to debloat Windows, which I always think is a good thing. Now, just two days ago, I posted a video that this year's annual feature update, version 23H2, deprecates three more features where Microsoft is debloating Windows further. And I'll leave that video down below. But just to let you know now that the tips app which is an old app that came comes bundled by default with windows 10 and windows 11 is now um, going to be um, deprecated by microsoft next year in 2024 now um if you didn't know about this app then just to let you know quickly what it's all about now the tips app can be downloaded although it comes bundled with windows it can be downloaded from uh, the microsoft store as you can see and as the name implies it gives you tips and tricks on how to manage Windows, as an example, take a tour of Windows, organize your desktop, make your PC easier to use, personalize your PC, you get the general idea. Now, I had long since um, deleted uh, the Tips app from my Windows devices. I don't use it, I didn't need it, and I only actually downloaded it again from the Microsoft Store just to kind of um, show you what it's all about for the purpose of today's video. Now, this Tips app has been added to Microsoft's deprecated features for Windows client over on their um, Microsoft website over on Microsoft Docs where Microsoft has said the tips app is deprecated and will be removed in a future release of Windows content in the app they say will continue to be updated with information about new fe Windows features until the app is removed so until the app is removed you are still going to see tips and tricks being added if you are using the app so at this stage um, nothing's going to change this year, but um, next year in 2024, although no exact date is given, uh, Microsoft says that they will be removing and deprecating the Tips app from the Windows OS, and I think that's a good thing. I think any move where older, not-so-popular apps are removed from the OS is a nice move in the right direction. And then obviously, if we get a exact date when the app will be removed. Obviously, I'll post and keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.